every person wants the stamina of who? Tony Ferguson, Michael Chandler. My God, what do they do? Look at them breathe. 80% of the UFC fighters, <sighs> breathing correct. Mm. Those guys, you will not see any movement. <sighs> they breathe perfect, and that's why they have the advantage. So now watch this, right? So this is, a, the diaphragm is a, a thin dome-shaped muscle tendon mixture. And this, it's a, it separates the chest cavity from the, the abdominal cavity, right? This side here is attached to the lower part of your ribcage. That's where it's attached to. And what this is what the diaphragm does. It actually massages your intestines and it, smart, it massages your heart as well. It lines your spine. You should read the reviews with people with back problems. Back problems are gone. This is all published medical journals, all back up. This is what the diaphragm does. It just expands. It's exactly, because from that angle, this is what it does. Mm. It drops down, it massages everything, it goes back, it drops down. But that drop down is an expansion. This happens in the center of your body that together with your intercostals will open up your chest. So when you expand your chest, you create a vacuum between your body and your lungs and that vacuum opens up your lungs. So for people who go like, oh, what is a vacuum? Just imagine your lungs being glued to the inside of your body. And if you expand your chest, that's how you pull the air in. So if you think about this, your chest doesn't expand because you put air in it. Your chest expands, that's how you pull the air in. Then exhaling is done by your obliques, your core, and your internal intercostal muscles. Those for the exhale, also a very important muscle to train. But if you train both at the same time, not good. Both separately, very good. 